What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We are back with another episode of Sneaker Stories. This time, we feature chart-topping rapper Lil Tecca. What's up, man? How are you? Hi. I'm good. How are you? Doing good. It's been basically a year since we went sneaker shopping, August 2019. So good to reconnect with you. Yeah, it's been a long year. Nice to reconnect with you, too. Do you remember what your first pair of sneakers were, how you got them? My first pair of special sneakers I remember were the powder blue nines. Okay. But I don't I don't remember how I got them at all. Oh, that was so young. I was really young. And then but I think the Kate the Kate yeah, sorry, go ahead. Exactly that's exactly what I was about to say, the KD sixes. And then cause I used to play ball in those, so I was playing them at 231. That was the school I was going to at the time. I got them in sixth grade. So every day when I used to go outside and play ball, that's what I was balling in. I still had those shoes. They still had the same holes. Really? Yeah. Yo, I used to wear these a lot. Like, I was wearing those every day. Every day. They were the only shoes I wore. So. When we last talked, I said, were you a point guard? And you were like, I played everything. What was your strong suit on the court, playing in them? Well, I was never no super try hard, you feel me? I had a love for the sport. I'm not no trash nigga. No one's gonna violate me. It doesn't matter how nice you are, how bad you are, you're not gonna violate me on the court. Like, I know how to play. That's what I do. What about defense? Or defense, do you I, I like to play defense. I, I take pride in my defense. I take a lot of pride in my defense. Kind of like a shutdown defender. Exactly, I play ball, you feel me? Like, if you have the ball, you gotta beware, because I might have it in a few seconds. Maybe like a Pat Beverly type. You know Pat Beverly from the Clippers? No, I'm not that. Right. I'm more of like, I'm more like <laughs> D-Rose. Okay. Feel me? Yeah, that's more me. D-Rose Giannis on the court. That's okay. me. Okay. Yeah. All right. I saw recently, went to Maxfield shopping spree. <laughs> How do you know that? We pay attention. We got, we got to pay attention, Tekka. But I want to ask, what's in your current rotation? I think you have some sneakers there. These in my rotation most of the time. You, you can't go wrong with these, obviously, for obvious reasons. These in my rotation a lot, too. When I wear um, fours, I like the way my jeans look with them. Like, the fours, they just got a certain look that goes in my jeans. Yep. Yeah. I like the color and shit. And those purple metallics you wore to graduation, right? Yeah. With the cap and gown, you've been wearing those a lot. Yeah. The internationals, I've been wearing yep. these. Uh, you know, it's crazy, like like two years ago, I traded my Laney's for these with my homie. And I still really? Yeah. He's gonna, Laney Fives? He's gonna see that. Yeah, Laney Five. So, do you trade often, or this was a special case? Well, back in the day, like, the guy, me and the guys wanted to get fly, so we was trading shit. We had to do what we had to do. What about the off-white court lows? Are those in the rotation? Is that a special pair or, or what? Oh, no, nah, I just, I got these at Maxfield. What you talking yeah. about? <laughs> I fuck with them. It's, bro, I can't even put these on. I gotta, like, untie the whole shoe to put them on because it's a damn shoe in a shoe. I don't understand. Yeah. But a lot going on there, right? Yeah, it's a lot going on. And taxis. I wanted the Taxi 12 in fifth grade. I got the Taxis, but they were too small. I got the metallic fives that year, not the white metallic ones. And those were too small also. So... Who's doing the sizes that they're too small? <laughs> Do you have any sneakers in your collection that you regret buying or it was a good idea when you spent money on them and now you look at them and you're like, I'll never wear these again? There was a regret of not buying the Fontaine Montana 9s. Okay. I wanted those, I was in 10th grade and I found them on grill and then I bought them, I did buy them and then I refunded it. Because I was like, yo, I can't spend that much right now. I think I did that with the Off-White. No, not Off-White, the Travis Scott one. You said that in sneaker shopping, yeah. the Air Force One. The same thing I did with those, I did with the Fontaine Montana 9s. 
and you're like a New York guy, the Knicks colors, and still you 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 nah, quickly but it wasn't even the order. it wasn't even because of the Knicks or none of that though. It's because I seen a picture of Sosa wearing them in like I think it was 2015 and 2016, and then I was like, yo, I gotta. Ever since I seen a picture, I was like, I gotta get the shoes, and then I ended up getting the shoes and then refunding it. Okay, and I know I remember uh, Chief Keef is a big music inspiration to you. Yeah. One thing I want to talk about, and if you could paint this picture, take us back to graphic design class and you scrolling Flight Club during class. I bet. You walk into class, <laughs> it's like a whole room just the computers. It goes yeah. all around. On the right side of the class is the teacher's desk, and I'm right next to the teacher's desk. I'm like two computers down. So it's hard for me to look at shoes. You can yeah. imagine, because I'm right next to the teacher. Most of the time when I was looking at, I would finish my assignments early. So then I would have time to like just look at what I want. But when I had to sneak, you had to like leave the classroom for like 15 seconds of shit. I would just pick a random number and just start scrolling. And these were all shoes that at the time you really couldn't get, you were just browsing. Oh, hell no. Niggas, niggas is just online window shopping. Okay. <laughs> like, you're looking at shit. <laughs> Other category I want to talk about, your grail. If you could have one shoe in your collection, is there one that sticks out? The OG Air Max. Okay. And why are those special to you? They're not even special to me. I just feel like they would be really cool. Yeah. That ass. And I wouldn't even, I would just like look at them. You wouldn't wear them? Nah, I would just like hang them up in my house somewhere and be like, I got these. The last thing before we go, I always have to ask, is there any sneaker story that we didn't cover? Anything that sticks out as a funny story that you never told before? Uh, okay. It was state test, I was in sixth grade. Okay. It was these two girls, so boom, right? We go outside, because after the test, you don't really gotta like do classwork, so we go outside, mm -hmm. and then, I don't remember what happened, but the girls ended up with my shoes and they started running around with them. What shoes but were they? It was the KD6s. The same ones? Yes, yeah, the same ones. I only had one pair of KD6s. And then you eventually got them back or did you walk home barefoot or what? Oh, no, no, I definitely got them back. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know how those two girls got them all. They was in seventh grade, I was in sixth grade. Cause I okay. I wasn't really jacking the shorties in my grade like that. So I was, you know, I was fucking with the older ones. So okay. yeah, that's probably why they was older than me. They was like, yeah. A little bit of a bullying situation or no? Negative. No. Don't ever flirting? put that in your mind. Negative, bro. Okay. Negative. More like flirting? Flirting. Negative. Yes, flirting. It okay. was none there of that. There we go. Okay. Understood. Well, thank you so much. You know, we're looking out for the new album, new singles. I saw you just dropped the video a few weeks ago. What can we be on the lookout for? Shit, new singles, new videos, new album, yeah. And listen, man, congrats on your success. Take care, bro. Peace.